Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to download your template. So first, make sure that you have saved any work that you've done and then click the download button here at the top right hand side. You'll see three options. We've got PDF, JPEG and PNG. I'm going to go through all of them, but we're going to start with PDF first. Just as a reference, I'm using a five by seven invitation as my example. It has a front and a back side. So let's click PDF. This is what you'll see. If you're wondering when to use it, it's excellent for print. We recommend using the PDF whenever you are able to. It has the most options, the highest quality, and the most flexibility when printing. You're able to switch on a bleed, trim marks, and save paper. Right now they're all switched off, but if you click it, it switches it on. So you'll be able to click on these question marks to the right if you don't know what these options are. A bleed adds an eighth of an inch more of your design around the entire template. Trim marks are for when you are printing at home or using a copy center. Print shops do not want trim marks on the PDF file. Save paper is for fitting as many templates on a page as possible. So if you want multiple per page, make sure that's turned on. Then you can pick your paper size. We have US letter and A4. I'm going to go with US letter. Below that, you can choose which pages you want to download. So right now it's set on all, which would be my front and my back. You can select current page only, which will be just what you see on the screen here, just the front page. Or you can choose custom, which will allow you to pick a range of pages. But for now, I'm using all. I'm going to select download. As it's downloading, a progress bar will go across the top of the screen here. And then a message will pop up to let me know that it's all ready. So this is what it looks like. You have two per page. That's a save paper. I see my trim marks at the top. They're also at the bottom and on the back page as well. You'll notice that the design has gone beyond this trim mark. That's the bleed. So we'll get out of this and download a JPEG next. When do you use a JPEG? Well, a JPEG is good for print or sharing on the web. Some print companies don't accept PDF, so ask your print shop what file they prefer as well as if they want to bleed. You have the option to download a 300 dpi jpeg or a web quality 96 dpi keep in mind that multiple canvases will be downloaded as separate jpegs in a zip file you'll have the same page download options as you did for a pdf so i'm going to click download wait for my message to pop up letting me know that it's ready there it is And here are my downloads. I have a folder here that has my front and my back side. There's the front and there's the back. We'll get out of that and then we'll download a PNG. Okay, so when to use a PNG? Well, it's good for sharing on the web. A PNG is useful when you need a file with a transparent background. And it has the same quality and page options as the JPEG did. So let's download that. Okay. And in this folder, you'll see the same thing. We have the front page and the back page as separate files. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.